welcome uh, to everyone who's here today. Okay, so the page that I've landed us on now is the student guide that Ernest has actually shared in the water cooler chat. And um, we're going to, this is available obviously after the workshop as well, so you will be able to work through that um, later on if you want to. There's a tutorial video there that's a nice introduction to Notion. Um, but we are going to work through this material um, and I'll also hop on to another page just to be able to demo some of the things that we're talking about. Um, but so this is how Bankless DAO uses Notion. So the material will really focus on what we're doing at the DAO rather than um, exactly how you do everything in Notion but because there is a lot of material out there that already covers that. Um, but obviously we'll touch on some of the how-tos as we go. But as a starting point, I, I think you're already aware what Notion is, but just in case anyone's not aware, um, Notion themselves call it an all-in-one workspace. So really it's a collaborative space for people to be able to um, bring documents and text and media and checklists and databases all together into one space um, to be able to um, manage information. For Bankless DAO, it's our knowledge centre. So we have our meeting notes, project tracking, how-to guides, really anything that's a record of what's happening in the DAO and, and the work that's being done, budgets and proposals. Um, you get the idea. So it, it really is our knowledge centre for the DAO and very important alongside Discord as a tool uh, for managing our information and knowledge. So every Notion page is really just a collection of blocks that can be put together as needed. Um, and so when you're on any Notion page, you can type a forward slash and it will show you the basic blocks that you can use to build a page full of content. So just using text, then you can start to type. Whoops, if you can't type, then you just type do typos. Um, but then you can turn that into a bulleted list or a checklist. Where's the checklist? To-do list, it's called, etc. So you've got lots and lots of different building blocks. You can embed content, um, an image with a link or, or upload an image, documents. You can do emoji. Where would we be without emoji? So there's a whole lot of different functions that you can build into a page from basic text right up to kind of um, quite complex databases um, with different views of those and so on. Um, and the, the other really important thing to know about Notion is that it's basically an endless hierarchy of pages. So right at the top is the Bankless DAO homepage and um, Hopefully you can see that loading onto your screen. You mentioned that one, Salman. Uh, and this is, this is the top level of the hierarchy of pages. Every other page is nested under this one and it can just go on endlessly. You can have pages under pages under pages and sets of pages under a page. Um, and, and it can just, it, there is no limit to that hierarchy. And the reason that you want to remember that is because that is how the permissions are actually set. You can set permissions for every individual page if you want to, but the default is that the permissions for any particular page will flow downwards to the pages that are nested underneath it. Um, we will have a look at permissions soon, but first I wanted to take you through just the guiding principles that we have set up. Um, at Bankless DAO for, for how Bankless uses Notion. So there are three guiding principles, um, decentralization, transparency, and continuity. And uh, I'll go through exactly how, sort of how we apply those best practice in a moment. But first of all, just to explain, so the principle of decentralization, uh, obviously we're a decentralized autonomous organization. And so we're very much into not centralizing um, all of the knowledge, well, 
actually we're centralising the knowledge, we're not centralising the permissions and, and the ability to um, add to that knowledge. So pages, uh, what we want ideally is that pages on Notion are held in a, pro a project or guild where they're most relevant, um, not sitting under a main hierarchy that um, nobody really knows who it owns, uh, who, who owns it, actually sitting under the guild or project where it's relevant. And then uh, alongside that, permissions actually being set by the project or guild that, that owns that page. Um, and so they're managing that for their needs. Transparency is another guiding principle. And what we want is that Notion pages should be publicly viewable by default. Um, we want people outside the DAO and inside the DAO to be able to see what's happening. Um, and unless there's a really good reason, perhaps it's got some personal information on the page, which we really shouldn't be putting in anyway. Um, but if there's email addresses or something and, and the group doesn't want to have that shared, that's a good reason possibly to restrict access. But we do want to avoid having access, just one person having access to a particular Notion page. And then continuity um, is around, you know, whatever is in happening in Discord, projects and guilds should have associated pages on Notion so that people can go and actually find, you know, the, the current information um, associated with that project or guild. Another thing around continuity is actually to have users having the same name on Notion that they do on Discord. And that's really easy to arrange. Um, everyone can do that for themselves just to make sure that their names are matching. You can just go into settings and my account and it will show you here preferred name and you can change that to match your Discord name. Good. Um, so, the, so moving on to um, how we actually put those guiding principles into action, I did mention already that guilds and projects really should manage their own permissions, and that is um, a new innovation at the DAO, and that's kind of why we've been prompted to do these workshops as well because having a lot of people have access to a lot of pages um, started to become a risk in terms of information being changed by a mistake or even perhaps intentionally. And so we want to be able to reduce the potential um, errors and attacks on certain pages. And so we have actually decentralised the permissions outwards um, so that guilds and projects can manage the pages only that they are concerned with. Um, wherever possible, new pages should be created under an existing project or guild structure, and that will ensure that the right people have access to it straight away because, as I said, the permission flows down from a, from a, a top-level page, such as a guild page. So if it's created underneath that, that will automatically flow down to the new page as well. Uh, things like meeting notes used to be a centralised database, but now each project or guild or team will have um, their meeting notes, again, managed under that particular area rather than as a central database across the DAO. So if you do need to get edit access to a particular page, you can reach out to the guild coordinator or project champion um, and ask them to add you for um, the edit permissions. And as I said, I'll be going through permissions in a, in a moment. Uh, and so what I wanted to do actually was, um, was show you the different permissions um, associated with the page. And I've, I'll do that on a demo page. And so up here on the right hand side, you can see that there's a share menu. And when you click that, I'll, I'll just work through everything that's on this particular menu option, um, just from top to bottom. So the share to web option here is um, what actually makes the page, this particular Notion page, viewable for anybody with the link. It doesn't matter if they're a member of Bankless DAO or not. 
if they um, if this is actually shared to the web, then anyone who has the link, um, this link which is actually here or ready to copy, can actually come and share the page. Underneath that, you've got some show link options. And this actually sets up the permissions for the page um, for people who are coming to view it from outside, if they perhaps just have the link, they're not an actual member of the Notion. Um, allow editing. Obviously, we want that to be off um, on any new pages that we're creating. We don't want to allow people from outside the DAO to be editing any of the pages in Notion. Um, likewise, depending on um, the structure of the page, we're unlikely to want comments left on it as well. The allow duplicate as template allows people just to actually just pick up if they really like the page or something, they can duplicate it and use it in their own workspace. Um, so there's no harm really in having that on. And then search engine indexing will actually allow Google to be able to index it and, and put it in search results. Um, what it says here is that only if someone else you or someone else links to it elsewhere on the web, will it actually turn up in Google search results? But without that toggled on, then it won't, that won't happen at all. Then underneath that, you've got the option to invite people to this page. But also I can see that there's a whole bunch of people that already have access to this page, either to view it or some people have full access, some people will have edit access, um, and some people will have the options. Full edit comment is the other one I was thinking of, and view. So for each person that's listed here, you can change the permission for this specific page. You can see, if we look at Run the Jewels, who's currently a guest in the Notion uh, subscription, the permission that Run the Jewels has is actually based on that top level Bankless DAO homepage. So the permission has flowed down from that, that he can view this page. Somebody else, if I scroll further down, Veritas has permission actually that's based on Education Guild and has edit access to the page. Uh, so it will just depend and everyone will be listed here with kind of the closest parent page um, that they have access to and what the permissions are for that. So if I want to change one of those, it's just a matter of finding the person I want to change. And I can do that from the top, but seeing as I'm scrolling, I'm just going to keep going. There's Ernest already has edit access to this page. Perhaps I want to restrict that, so just make it can view or change it to can only comment on the page. Or I might like to give Ernest full access, which means that they would be able to edit and also then give other people access by sharing it with others. So those different levels um, are available and can be changed individually for every single person um, in the DAO if needed. If you don't change it, it will be, as I said, flowing down from the nearest parent page or I can remove entirely, which I won't do, um, and that would actually stop Ernest from being able to see this page at all. The other thing that I was going to talk about up, back up the top was um, actually needing to perhaps invite a brand new member to the page who hasn't had Notion access before, and in that case you can actually put an email in here um, to, to invite somebody new to the page. Uh, you can also use this to change someone's permission. So if I select Ernest there, then I can actually manage um, the permission that I'm going to give them based on, on this menu here. So if I change it to full access and invite, then you'll see when I scroll back down,
somewhere. <laughs> that Ernest now has full access to the page. Um, we did look up here at this link, which I said was the, the link to the public page when it's shared to the web. But when we're working internally with Notion, there's actually a different URL, which you can see in the address bar here. It's a different uh, beginning to the URL. So bankless.notion.site is an external page. And anybody who's not logged into Notion can view that page. The notion.so forward slash bankless is for people who are logged in and have access. Um, that's our basically our internal link. So if you're linking to, um, you know, another set of meeting notes on a certain page that you've developed, um, or you want to link to another page within the within the structure of the notion, then you want to use this internal link because that will mean that automatically all of the the permissioned access um, it will be available to somebody who uses that link. If you use the external link, this copy external link here, they'll actually get directed to the external page and then have to kind of log back in and come back in. So to get the link, to an internal link, then really you can just copy it from the address bar or just down here on the bottom right of this share menu um, is the ability to copy the right internal link. And you can see that I've just pasted it in. Same page. Um, if you are here and listening and you're a guild or project coordinator or you're the admin person um, designated to do that for the guild or project, what we would like everybody to do is default everybody to view only access for a primary guild page, remembering that the permissions set on a, on a guild page will flow down to all of the sub pages that are underneath that, unless you go and do specific permissions on those pages. So what we want to do is have view only access for everybody on those pages and then actually review all of the sub pages to make sure that that has flowed down and that there are no specific permissions overriding that. And then give designated members of the guild edit access to that guild level page. That, so that might be the role holders and that might change each season. Just give the appropriate people edit access on those pages and then review all of the inner pages that, that are sitting under the, the guild level page um, and give access where it's needed to the specific pages. And that way the, the permissions are managed according to that hierarchy um, that we want to keep to so that the only the permission needed is given, not that broad permission that flows down from the very top level page of the DAO. Well, thank you, everyone, for coming. Uh, thank you so much, Chukat. It was all new to me, so it, it was very valuable. Thank you.